So far on this channel, I've made 48 different wildlife fact files, including three out of the six species of deer that live wild in the UK. In this video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the fallow deer. Although they are not native to the UK, fallow deer are the most widespread and according to some sources, are also the most common type of deer that lives here. They're the second largest species, with males, which are known as bucks, growing to 46 to 93 kilos in weight and to 90 centimetres tall at the shoulder. Females, which are known as does, are slightly smaller, growing to around 80 centimetres tall and to weights of 35 to 56 kilos. They come in four main colour types, tan, menil, melanistic and white. Fallow deer have two distinct features that set them apart from all the other deer in this country. Firstly, they have long tails of 14 to 21 centimetres in length. These are often outlined with white, surrounded by a darker horseshoe pattern. And secondly, the bucks are the only type of deer that grow palmate antlers. This means that they are similar in shape to an open hand, unlike the branched antlers of a red deer as seen here. These antlers can grow to 70 centimetres in length and are shed and regrown every year. It takes four years on average for a buck to be old enough to grow a full set of antlers and in their younger years, they instead grow smaller, less developed ones. Fallow deer antlers are shed in April or May and begin to regrow almost straight away. During the growing stage, which lasts until August, the antlers are covered in a layer of velvet-like skin when the growing is complete, the bucks scrape off this skin to reveal the bare antlers beneath. This whole process is painless, although it may sometimes look a bit gruesome. Fallow deer can be seen in a variety of habitats, but they are most numerous in deciduous or mixed woodland with large clearings. They can form big herds, especially when they are stocked into deer parks, but feral populations are mostly seen in smaller groups, which usually consist of all males or all females. 60% of their diet is made up of grass, but they'll also eat leaves, herbs, and fruits and nuts throughout the autumn. The fallow deer rutting season runs from mid to late September until the beginning of November, and it's during this time that the adult males will compete with one another for the right to mate. They begin by announcing their presence and intent with a deep, repetitive belching noise. This is often followed by side-by-side -side walking and posturing, but if this isn't enough, then they have no other choice but to engage in head-to-head, antler-to-antler combat. These fights can be ferocious and can sometimes result in serious injury or even death. Once the winner has been determined, he'll mate with the present and receptive does. Each doe is pregnant for around 230 days, meaning she'll give birth in June or July. The young are known as fawns, and each doe will only give birth to one per year. For the first three to four months, the fawns will stay in a hidden spot, usually among tall grass and vegetation, only emerging every few hours when their mothers come to feed them. After this time, they join with their mother's herd and begin to gradually switch from a diet of just milk to the same vegetation-based diet as their mothers, and they are fully weaned at seven to nine months old. At this point, the young males will usually leave their mothers and join male-only groups, whilst young does might stay with their mother's herd for life. Some does can become pregnant themselves in their first year, but often it isn't until the second year that they successfully breed. As I mentioned earlier, fallow deer are not native to the UK, and were first introduced to Britain around the Roman period. At the fall of the Roman Empire, genetic studies have shown that these deer actually went extinct here, and it wasn't until the 11th century that they were reintroduced from the Eastern Mediterranean. These would have been kept in deer parks, and it wasn't until the 15th century when these fell out of fashion that the deer escaped and began breeding in the wild. It is their descendants that remain here until today. 
There are currently thought to be around 100,000 fallow deer in the UK, and they're found everywhere except for the Highlands and the far north of Scotland. Outside of the UK, they're native to Asia and to some parts of Eastern Europe, but they are now found across most of both continents and have been introduced to Australia, Argentina, Canada, New Zealand, South Africa and the United States. Fallow deer bucks have an average lifespan of 8 to 10 years and does usually live a little bit longer at 12 to 16 years. The oldest fallow deer on record died in 2006 at 21 years of age. Now if you enjoyed this video, you should probably watch this one where I tell you almost everything you need to know about the red deer. And if you like that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.